James Milan is this wine is next. It's from the producer Grace. This is Etna do Rosato. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful wine. Um, lyrical, gorgeous wine. Uh, I think this is a remarkable wine because it is Nerello Mascarese, 100%. Um, in terms of uh, this wine being a rosato or rosé wine. Really harmonious, beautiful, gorgeous wine. And uh, when you think of this region, uh, not a lot of bottles come from Etna DOC, regardless if it's Dio, you know, uh, Rosato, Rosso, or Bianco. So, you know, when you look at the total production of Sicilian wines to say Etna wines, there are very few bottles that do actually come from Etna because there's actually a very small footprint and uh, there are limitations such as, uh, say, the elevation where wine grapes are officially designated to be an Edna wine or not. And um, I think this is a beautiful characterization of Rosato, a loveliness that comes from this wine. And one where I think uh, they've done a fantastic job. Now, Gracci is probably the only Rosato that I can find in the Bay Area. So walking the lands, I was in uh, Sicilia, Edna this year, and being putting foot on ground, you're really witnessing the uh, characterization of the soil content, volcanic soil. And uh, you're always, your eyes always looking towards Etna and seeing the uh, smoke coming from the cone. It is really remarkable and beautiful. So prior to putting foot on ground, you're thinking this is a really small area. Etna is uh, really gonna you know, flow some red lava uh, eminently. It is a large region. Lava is not going to flow over into every single area of the mountain or the volcano itself. And hence, you can grow these wine grapes. Look at the longevity of Etna wine. So you have 100-year-old vines, or even longer, say 125, 150-year-old. And think about that. That's remarkable, right? Because of Phylloxera. Now, Phylloxera was really, you know, dominating this uh, entire European uh, continent and uh, obliterating the vines except in Etna. Etna was spared that because of the soil content. So Phylloxera is not gonna take hold in a volcanic setting as well as a very sand-oriented soil content. First is the uh, point score. This is 93 points out of 100 points. So on this, I'm getting a characterization of mountain strawberry, a uh, bit of uh, fresh lemon zest as well as flowers. So tart citrus notation, as well as mountain strawberry notes, flower notes, and oyster shell, giving that minerality and salinity note. 93 points out of 100 points. More information on this producer down below. Questions and comments can be listed there as well. Now the subscribe button's right above here. So please hit that button. You'll see the latest videos that I'm producing. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support and we'll see you in another video. So I'm on a variety of social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Let's stay connected and I'll see you soon. Salute.